just get to my bit. OK, so well, in accordance with I, it, I, you know, we just give me two seconds, Alan. Sorry. So I'll just I'll just so that we've, we we keep to the exact script. So um, obviously. We've um, in accordance with procedure notes circulated, the local review body will now discuss and decide the manner in which the review is to proceed. I would highlight that all representations relating to the case have been considered and taken into account. Councillor Donnelly, the floor is yours. OK, well, actually, you know, I've always, like yourself, in some degree, always been keen to uh, encourage city centre living. Um, I'm sorry this, like many offices, is, uh, is uh, empty and uh, it'd be great to bring it back into economical use. However, I think this is just um, complete overdevelopment. Uh, I mean, some of the, the reports talks about no daylight at all in the in the basements. To me, we like living in two dungeons. I don't know about anything else. And I think it's just squeezing too much um, into the two buildings, if you like. The quality of life or the amenities for the residents for the future, I've got concerns over that. Um, I, I think Gavin Evans says we're not here to find a solution. Um, as I certainly say, I, you know, I do encourage city centre living, but I think uh, they need to take a, a look at the officer's report and to overcome the issues and concerns in there that they have with density and uh, proximity and the quality of life of future residents living in there to, to daylight, sunlight and, uh, and, the, and the whole nine yards, I'm afraid. So I'll be going with officer recommendations to refuse. OK, thank you, Councillor. John Lee, Councillor Mason. Yes, thank you, Fabina. Yes, I'm, I'm of a similar view. I mean, but there has to, the needs to find, need to find a solution for the conversion of the the offices to to residential. Um, but they on, on this, they, they made a good attempt at trying to achieve that. But the density is just there's too many loose ends in terms of amenity and overlooking and 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 even sustainability. It's not they haven't quite hit the mark in terms of all of that and they need to and and for some some reason that i think the the actual planning council the council planning committee actually needs some guidance as to how this will be done because if we don't get this if we don't get it right for this particular property it's going to uh, affect the whole future development of uh, there must be several uh, many other offices with us with us similar problems and, we, and there needs to be guidance and, and i don't think there's enough um guidance as to what what is it will be acceptable and what should be should happen and the sort of the level of standard of the housing whether it's going to be luxury apartments or, or very very high density city apartments or whatever need to be re sorted out uh, as indeed they did with the offices in terms of what, what offices would be allowed along these these conservation stretches and if we don't get it right with this one the whole city will be in trouble from for many years forward so uh, on, on all of that i, I mean i can't, can't 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 support this particular application and 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 i have to go along with the officer's recommendation here OK, um, just to reassure you, um, Councillor Mason, there's, you know, the policies that are developed and supplementary guidance and everything, and obviously we've got proposed local development coming through where there'll be additional guidance being drawn up, um, you know, that should actually be sufficient for the planning committee. I mean, obviously it'll be a new planning committee potentially, and they'll have to go through a lot of tra um, training. So it's about how you apply your yet yeah, yeah, the policies to whatever the application is and, and whether it's a luxury apartment or or just an apartment i think some of the basic principles always is, uh, apply um you know I, i'm very keen to see the west end turned back into as much residential as possible uh, and see the the office become more in the, the center because uh, suits on the street means people in our businesses and um, buying in our shops, using our hospitality. So, you know, it's I think it's really important that we get the critical masses in the right places. Um, I mean, I think our ideal solution would be for this one is to knock the extension back down and, and to have a nice uh, garden. But, you know, I think we've got to be realistic and people won't be able to afford that um, in, in terms of not putting anything else in its p place. But and again, we've got to when we're looking at sort of um, climate change and, and reuse of buildings. Again, we've got to think about what footprint uh, that we're creating by demolishing buildings and building up new ones. So there's lots of different elements that have got to come into the consideration. Um, 
I am concerned about the immunity uh, and the daylight uh, reaching these apartments. Um, you know, I was really encouraged when I saw it from the front because I did find a, a slide that shows the railings. So I think there has been an attempt to be sympathetic to what exists. Um, but I think we're just a bit short and I would agree actually with you, Councillor Donnelly, when you said I think they need to have another look at the officer's report because I think there is a development here. We just have to get it right. Um, I, I don't know what we can do about that rear building because if, we, if we're realistic about it, um, you know, it's not going to change its distance from the adjoining buildings unless it's knocked down. Um, but, you know, does that mean fewer flats with different aspects which make it more acceptable? So that I think there's more work to be done on it. Um, I think it was unfortunate, obviously, it wasn't determined within the time scale that we should be determining it. But I think it's due to the complexities and uh, probably a number of other things. Uh, COVID hasn't helped, you know, because we, again, we've had a number of staff off. But I do think, uh, and again, talk, Councillor Mason, you're right, we have to get this as a, a benchmark and I think there's a real opportunity for the developer here to be able to to show the other benchmark for future developments and I think we're just a bit short on, on, on getting there and I think a bit more time and work with officers will um, pay dividends so you know I again it, it was interesting to see the community council who are usually quite vocal and you know protective of their area um, how desperate people must be feeling that you know they, they wanted to see something there. I think the the developer again by using the the granite cladding I think was was encouraging because again it was looking at the the materials within the conservation area. So it's about the balance between you know making an affordable development because the real, <laughs> nobody's doing this for charity. So it's about finding that yeah, compromise no with yeah. numbers, yeah, uh, uh, and having quality finishes. So I think that it there is more work that can be done. I don't think we're a million miles off. I think that, that this can become a, a a deliverable scheme, and I would encourage the applicant to obviously sit down with our planning officers again, um, uh, and see if they can come up with something that works for everyone. And um, we'll certainly welcome it with open arms because you know I think the B three policy where we were seeing sort of the West End office, you know, I mean, I was keen that we we added in that residential element because I think um, we want people living in the city centre, we want them to be able to walk um, and have that active travel in and the buses in, so, you know, and cycle. So if we want that, we have to make sure that there's accommodation on the edge of the, the city centre. Um, so, you know, I think we're, again, we're all unanimous on this, this one. Um, to uphold the officer's recommendation, but to encourage the the, the, the developer to, to work with officers to find a scheme that works for both parties. Do we agree with that, gentlemen? Entirely. <laughs> words, words, of, words of wisdom as usual. Okay. Uh, Councillor, uh, sorry, Mrs. Ms. Green. Oh, yeah, that's the LRB speech. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy? Um, yeah, thanks. Let's do it. Um, it was just, um, as there isn't an officer recommendation as such, there's the recommendation in the draft report. So yeah. um, I don't know whether you want me to sort of show you that or whether you... Yeah, uh -huh. you, I mean, uh, we, uh, do you want to just bring it up so that it, I think probably just for the, the recording as well? Yeah. Um, just a moment. Yeah, we don't get many of these. No. Um, so let's see if I can enlarge it. Um, the first part, this is just where they've said the reason. Yeah. Um, I think so it's, it's just, things, yeah. just in relation to high quality residential. Yeah. And then it just goes into the daylight, sunlight and amenity mm -hmm. outlook. Window to window distances and the basement flats not having sufficient light. Yeah. Um, I, think, yeah. I think these were all the, the, the points that when you were doing your um, going through the policies, 
um, that we've picked up on and obviously reading the report. And I know certainly Councillor Donnelly made a reference to the basement flats, as did Councillor Mason. So I think we're quite content with the, the, the reasons for refusal that has come from officers, even though it wasn't formally put forward. Yeah. OK. Agreed. OK. I read that about the basement flats and that came with a yeah. report. It's in the report here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Lindsay, do you need anything else from us? No, that's fine. So the application has been refused unanimously with yeah. the reasons um, stated in the draft report. The draft report, that's the word. <laughs> Thank okay. you. OK, um, I, I see there's somebody external. I'm sorry, we can't bring you in at this stage. Um, it, it's You're only here to observe. And um, perhaps, Ms McBain, you can pick up that. Yeah. Sorry, um, as you'd stated at the start of the meeting, um, external people can't be involved in the, the local review body and must only be here to observe. So okay. we can't take in anybody. OK, so sorry, if there's, if there's anything, you can always find um, a, an email uh, address to, to, to write into. OK, so that concludes the local review body for today. I'm not sure who's on on Monday. Uh, I think you're there on the screen and Gavin as well. I don't know if any. LRB on Monday. We have an LRB yeah. on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Who, what what, what councillors have I got for that? We've got Councillor Bell and Hendrickson, and then myself, oh. Lucy, and Gavin again. So, <laughs> if we've got another, if we squeeze another one in, Alan, don't worry, we'll let you know. But well, we've got uh, two weeks. I'm, I'm clearing the office out now. <laughs> Let's stop the recording. Okay. Thank you. I